Good morning. Let's look at Psalms 48. Today I'm reading from the NLT Virgin. How great is the Lord, how deserving of praise in the city of our God, which sits on his holy mountain. It is high and magnificent. The whole earth rejoices to see it. Mount Zion, the holy mountain, is the city of the great king. God himself is in Jerusalem's towers, revealing himself as its defender. The kings of the earth joined forces and advanced against the city. But when they saw it, they were stunned. They were terrified and ran away. They were gripped with terror and writh in pain like a woman in labor. You destroyed them like the mighty ships of Tarsha, shattered by a powerful east wind. We had heard of the city's glory, but now we have seen it ourselves. The city of the Lord of heaven's armies. It is the city of our God. He will make it safe forever. O oh God, we meditate on your unfailing love as we worship in your temple. As your name deserves, O oh God, you will be praised to the ends of the earth. Your strong right hand is filled with victory. Let the people on Mount Zion rejoice. Let all the tongues of Judah be glad because of your justice. Go inspect the city of Jerusalem. Walk around and count the many towers. Take note of the fortified walls and tore all the citadels that you may describe them to future generations. For that is what God is like. He is our God forever and ever. And he will guide us until we die. This psalm is telling us about how mighty our God is. And in the last verse, it is saying that he is our God forever. God is for us. He is with us. He will never make a decision not to be our God. He is for us and he is with us. And it says that he will guide us until we die. Be motivated. Be encouraged today. And know that you are not alone. God is with you and he is a mighty God.